Accomplishing your goals for 2024 is about who you become. And I want to talk about that on today. I want to talk about six or seven things that you should embody um, in order to achieve the things that you want to achieve. And not only that you want to achieve, but that you deserve and you desire for your business, of course, and for your life. I'll just get started. So one of the biggest things is your ability to decide. <clears throat> Many people stay in such an indecisive space in, in their life and it's really counteracting everything that they want to do. Not making a decision is still making a decision. Not making a decision is still making a decision. It's literally a collection of like all of these undone things and unmet goals that you begin to embody. It begins to rest on the inside of you. And so your ability to decide in this season, I believe is going to be one of the most critical things for you as it relates to becoming the person that can actually achieve the goals that you desire for 2024. Number two, um, and you know, I said number one was most important, but you know, as I began to, to look down to um, tell you the next thing that I wanted to share with you, you know, I just realized that they're all equally important. It's almost like a puzzle with a piece missing if, if you leave one out. And so this next thing is being connected, connected to people who are empowering, being connected to empowering people, people who reach you at a soul level. They supercharge your energy, your vibration, um, enough to calibrate the movement that's needed um, for your goals. So being connected to empowering people is so important. You know, we don't always realize how conversations that we're having on a regular basis change our energy, change our flow. And it's so important to be mindful and to be intentional. Our theme for the year of 2024 is actually intentionality and intentionally being connected to people who are empowering. Coming from a person who has previously had um, relationships or connections that the energy was just off and being able to view like how I was during those times and in those spaces um, I'm here to tell you that being around empowering people is important the amount of light that you're allowing into your life through conversations and connections is a big deal um, the the third thing is having a plan and I know, I mean, we've been setting goals over here for quite some time and I definitely have talked about planning, but I mean on a bigger scale, a, a vision, like how do you really see your life so many times because we're inundated with distractions and external things that really can throw us for a loop, right, in our lives and we can end up in this space for one, two, and three years that we never intended to be in, my vision has been my superpower. It's been that thing that I can always connect back to if I ever feel like I've pivoted or I've gone off track. It's identified who needs to be in my circle. It's identified who I need to become in a particular season. It's helped me to decide like which areas of my life need added focus, time, energy, effort. And so having a plan and on a larger scale, a more embodied scale, I'm referring to a vision. You know, I am a kingdom believer. And so I believe um, in the most high God, the creator of the universe. Um, and I believe uh, scripturally everything that I've read, it has had it has had so much um, purpose in my life. And when I think about how sometimes things seem so simplistic when we're reading, for those of you who are also believers and really wanted to step into a new level of consciousness in your relationship with God, um, 
you know, those scriptures are just so powerful. And um, Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3 talks about writing the vision, making it plain. Even if it tarries, it won't tarry. And, and I'm just thinking, as I'm here sharing with you today, you know, just how powerful the scriptures are and how um, relevant they become as you continue to move and have your being in, in the world space. And so number three is um, having a plan. You becoming the person who has a, a vision that you've embodied, meaning you've gotten so connected with the vision that you have for your business and your life that it impacts you from a cellular level. We'll, we'll go back to having people being connected intentionally to people who empower you that can touch you at a soul level. It's because that vision you embody the vision so much that when you hear um, the words from those empowering people, they're, they're clues and signs to connect and go higher and deeper into that particular vision to reconnect with it if that's what you need to do in order to go to the next level. But definitely um, having a vision. This next one, my goodness, divine discipline, divine discipline. You know, my spirit wanted to say people lack discipline, but th I don't, that's not really the case. People are disciplined. They're disciplined in a lot of things. It just may not be the things that are in alignment with what's needed for the goals that they have and how they see their life and what they want to do and who they want to become, right? And so a divine discipline and all of this is connected full circle, right? Everything that I'm speaking about, you becoming the person who can intentionally um, achieve your goals and actually embody them, divine discipline. This comes through alignment. So the things that I'm sharing with you, those things need to be present in your life in order to become the person that can actually achieve the goals and desires, how you want your life to be, how you deserve your life to be, divine discipline. And this comes from that vision and the downloads that you get about your vision and who you need to become and maybe which area of your life you need to be focusing on. I do um, an exercise called the alignment circle and I do it a, a couple times a year personally, but it's an exercise that I teach inside 3D Success Academy to my clients. And it's breaking down those elements of life that we need to reflect on um, our social life, cultural life, um, our finances and career, our home and relationships, our well-being, um, our personal development. It really helps us to take a higher look at those different areas of our life to see, like, where is it that I need more discipline? Is it in the area of self-care? And so many people think that self-care is hair and nails and makeup and things of that nature. That's outside maintenance. Self-care is I care about myself enough to be intentional about this particular area or that particular area in my life or that thing that I said that I was going to do. So many times um, we're looking for people to trust us in the world space, whether it be in relationships or in our business, when we actually no longer trust ourselves because everything we said we were going to do, we, we don't do. And I understand that there are seasons and times in your life where your energy and your vibrations are just not a match for what it is you said you deserve and you desire, you just can't find it within yourself. That's when your ability to decide comes into play. That's when being connected to empowering people comes into play. That's when having a vision comes into play. It's, it's all about aligning these things that will allow you to become the person who can actually achieve the goals because we can have goals, right? But it takes a special person to do those things that you desire, those things that God has planted in your heart, that you keep settling for something else, something lesser, right? It takes a, a level of, of alignment with with these things that I'm mentioning here with you today. Um, the, the next thing I want to touch bases on is your your level of certainty and belief and this isn't saying you know I believe I can be a millionaire type thing it, it isn't that it's a knowing I, I don't know how to explain it other than you, you know it 
even if um, something may have gone astray or a little different from how you anticipated, there's something on the inside of you that knows. That's the level of belief that you need. You need to become the person who is believing on that particular level in order to achieve your goals, whether it's a weight loss goal or a health goal or um, a new income goal in your business, a new uh, level of intimacy in your relationship, your, your marriage, whatever the goal is, it's about who you become. It's about you being the person who can actually fulfill those things. Now, for those of you who've been connected to me for quite some time, you know that I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. I believe when those three areas are in alignment, the things that you desire are possible. And so I would be amiss um, if I did not mention abundant thinking. You, you need that. What happens when you're not operating from a space of abundance it means you're operating from a, a space of scarcity and scarcity always responds from a place of lack meaning <clears throat> you may begin grabbing at things you may sense a, a desperation um or you may sense because of lacking, you know, an abundance mindset about what it is that you're desiring to do. Scarcity thinking will come in. And scarcity thinking grabs things to fill holes. H-O-L-E. H-O-L-E-S. Not to fill, F-E-E-L, hole. W-H-O-L-E. Scarcity grabs things to fill holes, not to fill whole. Abundance comes into place through the desire to feel whole. It's, there's a difference. If this is resonating with you, let me know in the comments how this is speaking to you as it relates to you know, your goals and your dreams and the things that you desire. Right? When we're operating in a space of scarcity, let's, let's say in a relationship. And I believe that our partners... Um, partly create um, either abundant feelings or uh, feelings of scarcity. But before that even comes into place, the abundance lies within you. And if you're operating from a space of scarcity, you may settle. You may stay in relationships that aren't serving you because you don't feel that there's more for you or that you're whole, W-H-O-L-E, in, in your solitude, in your singleness. And so you operate from a space of, of lack. What that looks like in your business is, I'm just gonna settle for this because it requires too much of me growing and, be and becoming a new version of myself to achieve this other thing. Is this making sense? Is this making sense for you? And the last thing that I want to talk about as it relates to you intentionally becoming the person who can achieve these amazing goals that you have for 2024. And I always say this is another thing we do inside the academy. Like your vision is this huge, um, let's say elaborate thing that we reverse engineer and, and break it down into intervals, right? you know, bite-sized pieces that you can actually embody for the level that you're currently at in order to achieve the bigger thing. <clears throat> and one of the things that um, it requires is uh, a willingness to evaluate yourself. So oftentimes when we're setting goals, sometimes we're not being realistic about who we are or, or how we've been operating. And a willingness to evaluate, like, who am I? Who, who am I being in this season? Who am I showing up as? How do I feel? How do I feel? Is this in alignment? Is this really my goal? Did I pick this goal up off of social media? 
or is this something that's really aligned and attached to purpose and this thing that there's this nudge and I just it, I can't let it go right because it's it's my vision right a refusal to evaluate self creates a cycle of disappointment and so sometimes we just got to stop and reflect and say am I being the person right who can actually achieve these goals and then what do I need to do what part what area which life elements do I need to tap into to become that is it the area of self-improvement and self-care and well-being right is it something in my finances and career? Is it my home life and relationships? Is it my personal growth and development? Is it my social and cultural life? Guys, you have no idea, number one, how important it is to have a social and cultural life. There, there's an energy uh, about that. And many of you may be introverts like myself, and so it's really easy to get in your own space and you know, just not really have to interact with the world per se. But one of the things I've realized is that energy is necessary, the right energy, of course. But having a social and cultural life is, is enriching, guys. And for some, it may be, is my social and cultural life whack, <laughs> right? Are, are they vibrating at the frequency that I need for these goals and dreams that I deserve and I desire. These are my thoughts for you being intentional about becoming the person who can actually accomplish your goals for 2024. For those of you who'd like to dive deeper, you can always join me inside the academy. There are also ways to work with me privately. I'll have those things in the comments for those of you who are on YouTube and, and other spaces on how you, you can connect and, and go deeper. That's my take. Peace and thanks.